Hi guys and welcome back to the Roaming Taster. We visited the Addo Elephant National Park which can be found in the Addo area just outside of Port Elizabeth and is about an hour away. We entered the park through the main gate which can be found to the north of the park. Once you pay the entrance fee and they check your vehicle, you can commence your self-drive around the park with your trusty map in hand. One of the first animals we spotted as we started our drive was a rhino. Now taking into account that rhinos are endangered and elusive, it was an absolute treat to start our drive like this. Next up we saw a kudu who turned out to be very camera shy, but we ended up seeing more kudu later on as we continued our drive. The park is home to the Big Five, roaming free, but is most popular for the large population of elephants which call it home. We also saw lots of zebras at various points on our drive, and if you have been on any game park drive, you will know that these are a common sight. After spotting some elephants a bit further away, we made our way to Jack's picnic site. The site is secure and fenced to keep out any wandering animals and there are lots of secluded picnic spots which are equipped with dry areas. Make sure you carry all your food and drink as there is no shops at the picnic site. After our pit stop, we continued our drive and were in awe of the stars of the park. These majestic creatures are usually in large herds crossing roads and other pathways, and if they have babies with them, they are very protective, so please be careful. We noticed during our drive that some people were attempting to come out of their vehicle in order to take pictures with the elephants. That is absolutely not what you should do, as if you agitate them, you could find yourself in an unpleasant situation. We also got to witness this little one playing in the water and trying to cool down from the heat and then making its way to its mum. Did you know that a group of zebras are called a dazzle? I recently just learned this and find it to be such a fitting term for them. Later on in the afternoon, we spotted more elephant, this time at the watering hole. There are designated lookout points around the park and you are allowed to exit your vehicle at your own risk 
only at these points. There are a total of five lookout points. You can get aerial scenic views of the entire park from these areas. We stopped at the Zurkop lookout point which overlooks a watering hole. As it was late afternoon, there were lots of elephants splashing around the water. Eventually, we made our way to the reception area at the south gate. Here we visited a few bird hides. One of the bird hides is underground and overlooks a lake. Then we made our way to the Ulwazi Interpretive Center. 
This is an informative center with displays of the elephants and other species of animals. It is also filled with other historical monuments. You can also find an array of skull structures outside the center, ranging from elephants to common game. You can also find a restaurant and a park shop. If you don't feel like preparing your own food, you can stop for a bite to eat here or you can stock up on some food items for a braai from the shop. In addition, the shop has lots of memorabilia including key rings and other branded merchandise. After a fun-filled, long driving day, we made our way out of the park and exited through the south gate. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like and if you're not already, please subscribe to see more videos from me. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you soon.